This is Karen Brockney for Alibony.com. In this lesson, I'll show you how to merge layers. When you have a file that consists of many layers, you might want to merge some layers to keep the file organized while you're working. You might also want to merge all layers when you've finished most edits so that you can apply sharpening to the entire image. Let's see how all this works with this aquarium image, which has 17 layers. The sea creatures in this image are all free clip art that I downloaded from Dover Publications. Each creature is on a separate layer. There are additional layers for the background and for text. I'm going to use the Undo History panel to help get back quickly to the original file while we're working. From the Window menu, choose Undo History. And let's just close that Undo History panel right now. Before we start, let me share some guidelines for merging layers. A good rule is to merge only when you're sure you don't want to move or make any more edits to a single layer. After the layers are merged, you can't access the individual layers again unless you step back and undo the merge. Another good rule is to start merging from the bottom layer of the stack rather than from the top of the stack. Weird things can happen when you merge from the top down especially if you have adjustment layers and have applied blend modes to layers. So always merge from the bottom up. To merge a layer with the layer below it, first select the layer in the layer panel. We'll select the water layer. Then from the layer menu, choose Merge Down or press Control e on the PC or Command e on the Mac. This command doesn't work for some types of layers. For example, you can't merge down when the bottom layer is a fill or adjustment layer, a shape layer, or a text layer. Notice that if I select the texture layer and then try to merge down, from the layer menu, the merge down option is grayed out and the keyboard shortcuts won't work either. You first need to simplify these layers before you can merge down to them. To simplify a layer, you can click on the layer in the Layers panel, then right-click and choose Simplify Layer. If you merge one of these types of layers with the layer below, the layer is automatically simplified. For example, if we merge the Aquarium layer with the Fish layer below it, the Text layer is simplified so that you can't edit the text again using the Type tool. You can also select and merge multiple layers. Let's select all the layers that make up the background in this image from background to bubbles. In the layers panel click on the background layer then press shift and click on the bubbles layer to select adjacent layers. From the layer menu choose merge layers or press control E on the PC or command E on the Mac. If the layers you want to merge are not right next to each other, select one layer, then press Control and click on the PC, or Command and click on the Mac to select each additional layer. Let's select the starfish and the two shells. Click on the clamshell layer, then press Control or Command, click on the starfish, and click on the seashell. Now from the layer menu, you can choose Merge Layers, or press Control e on the PC or Command e on the Mac to merge those layers together. You can then use the Move tool if you want to move that grouping around in the image. To merge all visible layers, there's a command on the layer menu to merge visible. Let's test this out. Let's decide that we don't want the crab in our merged layer. You can click on the visibility icon to turn off the visibility of that layer. Then from the layer menu, choose Merge Visible or press Shift Control E on the PC or Shift Command E on the Mac. Notice that all of the visible layers have been merged into one layer, but the crab layer is separate. Let's undo that and go back to the original by using the Undo History. If you want to just merge all layers and don't want to save the layers that are not visible, from the Layer menu, 
choose Flatten Image. And all of the layers are flattened into one. Let's recover the original file using the Undo History again. There are two other ways to merge layers that you won't find on the Layer menu. These two keyboard shortcuts create a stamp or a new layer that contains the layers you want to merge. This comes in really handy if you think you might want to go back and edit individual layers later because you save the individual layers but you also have a merged layer. To create a stamp of a group of selected layers, select the layers in the Layers panel. We'll select the three fish and I'll do that by selecting the yellow fish and then shift and click on the red fish. Now on the PC press Alt, Control, E. On the Mac, press Option, Command, E. The merge layer is added above the selected layers. To create a stamp of all visible layers, select a visible layer in the Layers panel. I usually select the top layer. Then press Alt, Shift, Control, E on the PC or Option Shift Command E on the Mac. The merge layer is now added above the selected layers and you can do anything to this layer that you want such as sharpening, adding special effects, adding a border. There is one last way to create a merge copy of all layers and preserve the original file. From the File menu choose Duplicate. In the Duplicate Image dialog box click Flatten Layers in a new file and then click OK. We've now created a new file that has one layer that is a merged version of our previous file. You can now save this merged copy to print or share on the web.